G'day mateys, it is the Down Under Entrepreneur here and I am coming to you with another video from the lovely Taichung, Taiwan. The mercury on the thermometer is absolutely scorching today, it's like 37-38 degrees, uh, humidity is through the roof so it feels like it's about 45. Uh, literally you drink like half a litre of water and then 60 seconds later like it just sucks it straight out of your body again and you go back to feeling like shit and being dehydrated. Um, but happy days, uh, this is what I signed up for, and this is what we do, we push through it, we keep moving forward, um, you know, that's what the expat hustle is all about. Um, so today, guys, what I want to talk to you about is um, you know, getting started, finding that idea, what you should do, whether you're, you know, like me, really extreme case, where I packed up my whole life, sold everything, and then moved overseas, um, and now I've got to make my uh, a living any way I can. Um, and the reason for that is obviously I don't have a university degree, so I can't teach English. Um, you know, I'm in Taiwan, I don't speak uh, Mandarin, so I can't get a job at a local cafe waiting tables. So I literally have to hustle and make money however I can make money. Um, so, um, you know, obviously before we jump into that, guys, you know, if, if you're in, uh, if you like what we're doing here on the channel, um, you know, you appreciate the content then please guys support the channel so we can keep bringing you content like this and obviously grow the channel and grow together. So smash that subscribe button, drop this video a like, uh, and by all means share this with your friends and your families, put it on social media, all that sort of good stuff, uh, and get it out there. Um, but it's nothing but raw, uncut, uh, unedited, uncensored, unscripted, uh, no BS, uh, just how it is. Um, so if you're looking for that idea um, and you want to, you know what I mean, you want to start a side hustle or you want to start a small business, like whatever it is. Um, the first thing that you really, really have to do is you have to sit down, you have to be realistic. You have to come up with a realistic idea. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to tell you, do what you love, man. Like, go and do what you love. Like, that's fine, but if you love making like painted macaroni necklaces, then you're probably going to be homeless on the street with nothing but painted macaroni necklaces to eat. That's that's the cold hard reality of it. Um, so yes, you can do what you love, um, and if you can monetize it and make money out of it and make a living off it, fantastic. Absolutely, go and do what you love. Because here's the reality. This is the way I look at it. Um, if you're doing what you love. Are you being paid to work or are you simply being paid to do what you love? It's not really work then. Um, so obviously if you can do what you love and monetize it, absolutely go and do it. Um, you also have to be realistic about your circumstances. If you were young and you're living with mum and dad, um, you've got no overheads, you've got no expenses, then by all means, you know, quit that job flipping burgers at uh, Mickey D's and buddy go all in on whatever the hustle is you want to do and try and build a business out of it. Um, and if you fail, that's fine. fine. Be prepared to fail. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the way I view that is there's no such thing as failure. There's only lessons learned. If you fail, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, then it's like, as long as you learn something from that failure, then it's not a failure, it's a lesson. That's the way you have to view failure, guys. Um, but you know, obviously if you're um, like myself, you know, you know, you're a bit older, like in the mid thirties, um, you know, say you got a wife and kids, then you're not really in a position where maybe you can just walk out and go like, you know, drop the mic moment, you know, flip the bird at your boss and say, fuck it, I'm out of here. Um, and just go all in on whatever you want to do because there's still the potential that it might not work out for you. Um, so you have to be realistic. You have to have a realistic idea. Um, and depending on your circumstance, obviously, like I said, if you're slightly older, um, then you need to look at something you can start small and scale. And then it's like it literally gets to the point where once you've scaled it and it's making you more money than, say, your nine to five, then maybe you look at the drop the mic moment and flipping the bird to the boss. Um, but you have to be realistic about it. Um, you know, uh, so the sort of the second big thing I think you really, really, really need to do 
is you need to research what you want to do, see what the market's like, what the competition's like. Um, you know, use humility, guys. Instead of using that spare time to go and uh, binge watch like eight seasons of Game of Thrones, um, you know, because here's the big thing, and it's actually a, a big motivational speaker that I, I heard, and it's something that he said, and I, it just like stuck. And I just went, bam, this guy's nailed it. And he said, like, there's so many people out there complaining about the shit in their lives and complaining, you know, you know about money. But, you know, they don't know how to fix the problem, but they can tell me what happened in, like, eight seasons of Game of Thrones in every single episode. And what are we doing, guys? Um, so, you know, do that research. Educate yourself. Uh, for me, um, starting the hot dog business... Um, I can tell you right now, I don't particularly love standing in um, a night market street in 37, 38 degree heat in front of a 200 degree barbecue, um, you know, flipping sausages, banging out hot dogs in order to make a living. Um, you know, maybe during winter, it's probably not so bad, but at the moment, like, it's absolutely dreadful. Um, it's really uncomfortable, but I made an educated guess. I did my research and I made an educated guess on this. And the research and the statistics that I came up with is that on average, 80% of everybody in Taiwan on a night to night basis, 80% of the population either eats at a night market, they eat in a restaurant or they eat at a fast food place. 80% of the population. Then the other piece of research and statistic that I came for, uh, that I found was that uh, as far as emerging economies go, Taiwan has the fifth largest market and demands for foreign goods, foreign uh, what's perceived as luxury foreign goods. So working on the fact that hey, I'm I'm Australian, I'm foreign, uh, people love to eat out here. It, it was a calculated risk. Um, you know, I got told in the beginning, no, that's not going to work, da, 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 da. And here I am six months later, I'm still hustling. Um, so do your research, educate yourself, and make an intelligent, educated guess, guys, as to what you want to pursue. Um, even if it's not 100% what you want to do, you, you have to have, like an end goal my end goal is to make enough money through uh, a business or businesses that I can potentially scale um, so that I can then invest into other assets which generate me passive income you know stocks bonds uh, commodities real estate etc 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 that's the end goal and that's what you need to focus on is that end goal so that when you're doing that uncomfortable shit like standing in the night market and flipping hot dogs and stuff like that do you know what I mean? Especially at the moment, like summer, sales are slow, it's stupidly hot, um, it's really uncomfortable. Like, that's not what you're focused on. You're focused on, hey, this is where I'm going. I need to get through this in order to get there. So that's fine. We'll crush this and we'll eventually get there. Um, so that's what you have to do. You have to have that goal. Um, and this, this is the next one. We all come up with great ideas. And there are so many great ideas out there, like amazing ideas. Like we all know that one person that went, oh, I thought about doing that. Oh, yeah, I, I wanted to do that years ago. Right? If you have that great idea, don't care what the world thinks. Don't, don't listen to the negativity. Don't just, oh, yeah, but somebody's tried that and it didn't work. Or, you know, I know somebody that did that and it didn't work out for them. You know, I got so much negativity when I started this. So many critics going, oh, it's not going to work and da 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 I didn't care. I pulled the trigger. I took action. Um, and that's the big thing, guys. You have to take action. Um, and then the next thing you really, really have to do, and this is something you can't just go, right, this is what I'm going to do, and this is how we do it. Um, obviously, coming from the big supermarket background, like the pace of the scene, of the supermarket scene in Australia, and I'm assuming it'll be the same in the world, especially big corporate um, companies, the scene is constantly changing. You know, one day we're doing something this way, the next week we're doing it completely differently. Like, that's just the reality of the industry. They have to adapt or something will happen. 
Uh, and that is the big thing, guys. You have to be adaptable. Um, you have to have a look at what you're doing. Um, you have to rely on feedback from your customers. Uh, and it's difficult here in a country like Taiwan because they have this uh, cultural thing called saving face and giving face. So if somebody thinks your product's shit, they're not going to come and go, ah, you know, like we are in the West. They're not going to come and go, oh, mate, your hot dog's shit. Doesn't work that way, right? They're just going to be really, really polite about it. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then they'll go home and they'll eat it. Um, and, you know, and it took time for us to get people regularly coming back and would give us you know, feedback on what they thought of our product. And so then we had to adapt and evolve the product. Um, but that's what it is, guys. You have to be adaptable. You have to be open to criticism and feedback. I mean, obviously, don't get me wrong, there are people out there that are just gonna give you a negative, uh, a negative bash because they're just a negative whatever. Um, you know, but you have to learn to filter that. You have to look at what is legitimate feedback and you have to look at what's just somebody being a dick. Um, but that's that's the four, probably the four big things, guys, you really, really have to look at when you're thinking about doing a hustle. Right? I can't tell you what the best hustle is to do. You have to do what you think is best for you. We all have different talents and we all have different abilities. We're all good at something. Uh, we all have some sort of a gift. Um, you know, depending on your circumstances and where you are in the world, it's like it will vary from person to person. Um, but, you know, first and foremost, come up with a realistic idea. Like I said, like, you know, if selling painted macaroni necklaces is your thing, I, I don't hold a lot of hope for you, I'm going to be honest. Um, then you need to do, like, educated research. Um, you know, re research what you want to do, research the market you're looking at getting into. Um, what's your competition like? What's the, the, you know, have a look at the variables. Um, educate yourself. Um, then once you've, you've done your research and you've got to like, you've got a pretty solid plan together, pull the trigger and take action, guys. Um, you know, as they say, it's like 95% of all small businesses fail within the first two to five years. 100% of all small business ideas that don't even get started are guaranteed to fail. You've got to take action. Um, and then be adaptable. You have to adapt. You have to adapt with technology. You have to adapt with times. You have to adapt with market trends. Um, you know, customer buying trends. You have to be across all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, the time of going, oh, yeah, but we're an established family business and we've been doing this the same way for 20 years it's just not going to work it's not going to work in today's day and age where we are all connected so uh, apart from that guys I'm not going to prattle on any longer uh, i got to get some shit ready and i got to get down to the uh, the night market uh, and uh, sweat my ass off um, so hopefully you guys found this video uh, informative and helpful uh, if you did then like I said guys please show your love show your support for the channel smash that subscribe button drop this video a like uh you know share it with your friends your family all that sort of stuff um you know if you get a friend out there that's trying to hustle um but apart from that guys thanks for watching catch you all in the next video cheers mates